have, so we'll actually have two rounds of it. One of my sort of um, sprouting it out, shining it out, and then another one where we'll do it um, in a, uh, it's like a participatory chant. So um, I invite whoever would like to step forward and be a leader for different voices here. We're going to create a kind of random kind of mess orchestra together, voices track.
The, um, so I'd like to begin with um, just saying I'm Paloma Pavel. I'm with Breakthrough Communities and with Carl Anthony. We um, build healthy, just, and sustainable community action in the, in the Bay Area and beyond. We work at a regional scale. And we're very committed to the use of art and culture as a seed planting for how we transform our future, how we transform our world. And we're working with community groups in regions across the United States and in other parts of um, the planet, including we're working with uh, groups in Japan over the last 30 years, and more recently with community resilience um, in response to Fukushima. So uh, it was beautiful to feel that sense of circling our Earth with Vijali, and we want to honor um, your bringing the whole world to us and igniting that spirit in us uh, today. So I'd like to open um, uh, the next um, part of this is going to be sharing some uh, very brief poem um, with you that is also a book. Uh, many of you know Random Kindness and Sense of Sex of Beauty as a bumper sticker. It's actually a book and, uh, and a work that Anne Herbert and I began 20 years ago. And this September we're launching the anniversary, the 20th anniversary, and we're very honored to have um, that book um, featuring the foreword by Desmond Tutu. So to begin this evening, I would like to um, honor Archbishop Desmond Tutu, the people of South Africa, and liberation struggles throughout our planet that are going on, um, including the struggles in the Middle East right now, the Gaza and Israel, and to see that uh, there's a very deep sea arising uh, throughout our planet right now. And uh, so I'm going to invite in the words of Desmond Tutu to open. We are living in a historic moment. We are each called to take part in a great transformation. Our survival as a species is threatened by global warming, economic meltdown, and an ever-increasing gap between rich and poor. And I can feel his chortling joy that just rises even in the face of such difficulty. And his words continue. Yet these threats offer us an opportunity to awaken as an interconnected and beloved community. Here in South Africa, interconnectedness is described by the concept Ubuntu. Let's say that. Ubuntu. Again, Ubuntu. Ubuntu is the philosophy and belief that our humanity is inextricably bound with one another. I am because we are. I am because we are. This interconnectedness is the root of who we are. A more peaceful world is possible wherever we are, Ubuntu. Thus, we are invited to become life artists. That's his term, amazing. Life artists. Those who create lives of wholeness and beauty at every instant. The life artist sees or creates a symphony of meaning and order, even in the face of suffering and chaos. My conviction that this is true is borne out not only from my experience in South Africa, but also as I visit other parts of the world. We can indeed transform this world, and we are each called to take part in this sacred work. Wherever we are, we can create beauty. Moment by moment, we can create joy. Instant by instant, we offer and can offer kindness. Thank you, Desmond Tutu. So, when we began this work, it was in response to the Persian Gulf War and the rise of violence and the Rodney King incident. And uh, Anne and I began um, in a very kind of street, street wise way and uh, street corners and, and begin, how do we turn our attention from systemic violence and the sort of hell-bent um, pathway to violence and actually redirect our attention? And that's, we wanted to create a spell that would break the trance that was heading us to, to the drumbeat of war. And so we took the phrase, random violence and senseless acts of cruelty, 
and created a reversal that we hoped would be a spell that would break um, that incantation. And we're very excited to be seeing it spreading and rippling out in so many ways and want to bring it back to its radical root. So I dedicate this to uh, the work of communities around the world and to my partner in this, in this work, um, Anne Herbert, and also to my Yumiota, who has joined us with beautiful illustrations. Um, they're taken from um, a 12th century Heian scroll where community groups were kept intentionally illiterate, and yet they organized themselves in the 12th century by doing picture drawings. And each of the figures, the animal figures, was a part of um, uh, a picture vocabulary. So people would know, oh, we're gathering in response to the samurai lord. Um, and they would draw these pictures. Let's meet on Friday night. So this is a community organizing scroll that has been made modern. Thank you. <clears throat> Our leaders got confused. So. We are all leaders now. They told us there was nothing we could do. They were wrong. And when we tell ourselves there's nothing we can do, we are wrong. We never know how much, and we never know how far it goes, but always we have power, and we have power. We're all making this soup, we're all eating, we're all weaving the cloth, we're all wearing. What we do can't go away. We're all in this circle together, this world wheel. Thank you, Vijali. We're all in this circle together. Anything we do randomly and frequently starts to make its own sense and changes the world into itself. Chaos theory talks to us about strange attractors. Senseless violence makes more and more sense when vengeance and fear take us closer and closer to a world where everyone is dead for no reason. But violence isn't the only thing that makes its own sense and is senseless. Anything you want there to be more of, do it randomly. Don't wait for reasons. It will make itself be more senselessly. Scrawl it on the wall. Muse, scrawl it on the wall, random kindness and senseless acts of beauty. We're right on the edge. We're right on the edge of inventing millions of new ways of being together. We're right on the edge of inventing millions of new dances we can do together, minute by minute. And we're right on the edge of destroying ourselves out of life because we're too scared to have that much delight. The steps we take now make new earth grow beneath our feet. The steps we take now decide what kind of earth that will be. In every moment we live, we have the choice to find the fight or make delight. It's a circle. Start the dance. It's a circle. Start the dance. So what I'd like to do now is take a moment to start the dance here in, uh, as we move into our potluck. But just to ask um, if there's anyone who feels moved and would like to be part of the, um, the Random Kindness of Voices Trip. I'm looking for um, about mm, between five and ten people who'd like to come up. And we're just going to sort of alternate and, and, uh, and say it through once. Um, with gusto in our own spirit voices. So I see Enid. Um, so uh, if you just want to pop up and come forward and we'll, we'll uh, have a, a random, spontaneous performance. Susan, I see you uh, jumping out of your seat. Am I making you nervous here as I have fun? Okay, so what we're going to do is um, you are. Hi. I thought the same thing. Um, you too. Oh, <laughs> there were you. It's all over. Thank you. Wow. Well, thank you. Yeah, cross the front here.
move this way. Let's take a moment to just see this amazing, amazing production here of these trees and the earth and coming up out of the earth and see what's sprouting in our midst here. So let's get a little bit of a beat going here. Uh, maybe move down this way a bit. And uh, we're not going to tell you exactly when to stop. You can kind of take a phrase or a line or you just kind of feel into it a little bit right here. And uh, just to get you warmed up, let's all, this is the phrase, we're scrawling it on the wall here. Random kindness and senseless acts of beauty. Let's hear it. Random kindness and senseless acts of beauty. Ubuntu. 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 So, our leaders got confused, so we're all leaders now. They told us there was nothing we could do, but they were wrong. When we tell ourselves there's nothing we can do, we are wrong. We never know how much, and we never know how far it goes, but always we have power. We have power. We are all making the soup. We're all eating. We're all weaving the cloth. We're all wearing. <laughs> what we do can't go away. We are all in the circle together. Anything we do randomly and frequently starts to make its own sense and changes the world into itself. Changes the world into itself. Senseless violence makes more and more sense when vengeance and fear takes us closer and closer to a world where everyone is dead for no reason. Senseless violence makes more sense when vengeance and fear take us closer and closer to a world where everyone is dead for no reason. But violence isn't the only thing that is senseless until it makes its own sense. Anything you want there to be more of, do it randomly. Don't wait for reasons. It will make itself be more senselessly. Anything you want there to be more of, do it randomly. Scroll it on the walls, random kindness and senseless acts of beauty. Random kindness and senseless acts of beauty. Scroll it on the walls. discovering millions of new ways of being together, millions of new dances we can do together, minute by minute. And we're right on the edge of destroying ourselves out of life because we are too scared to have that much delight. We're right on the edge. 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 The steps we take now make new earth grow beneath our feet. New earth. The steps we take now decide what kind of earth that will be. It decides what kind of earth that will be. In every moment we live, we have the choice to find the fight or make do light. We have power. 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 It's a circle. Get up and stop. 